You gotta go on Viking fight school. They get in, they get dressed in full armor. Yeah, my talking about swords, shields, daggers. These motherfuckers like, it's like watching that scene from Braveheart. It's like gladiator. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They fight each other with swords and spears yeah. and shit. Spears, knives. You but know, yeah, I won't watch it. They're, they're probably just the class times. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to say, how do you, how do you pick a winner? <laughs> hey, motherfucker, don't get up, man. That's it, I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah, it can't be a castle without Mike, right? <laughs> Forget about the fancy equipment and all the glitzy glam and all that bullshit. It's about what's up here. What's up here? Places like this help you create the mentality because there's so many people that are heart driven. You can't help but take in some of that ambiance on them. This is where champions are built. Places like this because it's got old school written all over it. This yep. is what started it. And that's where it's still at. Exactly. So the Iron World Tour, we're rolling into a Metroflex Castle over in Fort Worth. So uh, I believe the Metroflex Castle was the first franchise that uh, grew out of the original Metroflex. So Rendy, the owner, he worked at Metroflex for a number of years. I've known him for 20 years probably, maybe longer. And uh, so he carried the whole Metroflex, the heart and soul of Metroflex. He understood it, so he just took it to Fort Worth and uh, did it over there. It's, uh, it's a badass gym. So we got about 20 guys and girls with us, so we've got to roll over there invade, take over for a day, and uh, do what we do, because nobody does it better. We got to work at the Castle, Metroflex, Fort Worth, Texas. And this was That's the, right. uh, going back, way back in the day, this was the first franchise we grew out of the original Metroflex gym. So yes, this, this Metroflex, in a lot of ways, is a step above the original one. And I ain't taking no away the original one, because I still love it, and I still train there. And I don't think anyone in the world tops that atmosphere and feeling that you get when you walk in there. But this one just took it to another level. And I think that's because of this. And it is because of this man right here, Randy. Yeah. I've known Randy for over 25 years. Oh, yeah. Um, he worked at the original Metroplex gym. So, man, I don't it's think forever. anybody understood what it was about. Yeah. And uh, learned how to do it. So, yeah, because yeah, he learned from the man himself, Brian yeah. Gotson. That's true, man. Yeah, we me and my wife and everything had some good ideas to get a guy's perspective and a woman's perspective of the whole gym. So we decided to kind of make it to where you open one door and you're at every gym you want to be at. Then there back in the day train, I had to go train for, uh, you know, MMA in another gym, body in another gym, power thing like that. So we put it all together, this gym here, and she had the ideas like, you know, let's just do it to where you open one, one door and you're there. This uh, building here is actually a 1942 World War II building. They used to make bombs, torpedoes here, storm upstairs, actual bunker still, and that wooden trap door goes under the gym. But uh, yeah, wow. used to make it out there. And, in the bottom, if you go in the, in the actual bunker, that's crossed out swastikas. And I asked the dude, what does that mean? He goes, that's whenever they kill somebody or not, whatever they cross out a swastika with the artillery they had here. I was like, it's fucking badass. Yeah, and, and what better place, you know, to come and bang, to hang and bang into a big, you know, uh, abandoned war bunker, basically. You know, you know, it's built for just like us, road tough. So we get in here and do what we gotta do. And uh, thank you, Randy, for providing it for us. It's okay. pretty awesome. Hell yeah. Let's see the place. Awesome, man. This is gym one right here. Probably like the main floor, you got the dumbbells there. Got a hammer strength there in the middle, chest, all shoulders. This is my wife's area here, pretty much. You got the ski yards, the exercise bikes, rowers, all that. She's like the cardio queen. <laughs> you got different kind of head squats there. Of course, you know, I got to get the Natalist old school. That's the nice here. Hell yeah. That one too, this one. Then up here, the second floor, this is uh, the Cortez Boxing Gym. So up here we do all our boxing and everything too. So we got all the kids, from kids to semi-pro amateurs, to pros that train here for all their shows coming up and all that. There's some of the team pictures there and all that stuff. But this is a Cortez boxing gym here. This one right here is the, everybody calls it the dungeon. Because when it's too busy down there, you got a full gym upstairs. This is like gym two. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So here we do a lot of speed, agility work. You got a full line of uh, exercise equipment up here. Yeah. yeah, this one came out of the original Metroflex. Brian gave me this for like kind of like a home, Bro, a welcome home deal. When I walked in there in 1992. <laughs> <laughs> This motherfucker was there 
Wow. Hell yeah. I have with this fucking thing. I thought it died, but it just, it just migrated across town. That's right. So. It's still, still, it's still dishing out pain, baby. It's it's a, let it all original, man, you know? Same screws, all that shit, man. Everything's here. Yeah, it's built tall arms, though, man. You had no arms or peaks on your arms. You always relied on this, baby, to make it happen. I remember one of my, one of my first contests back then. I trained on this machine. I was training with Mark. Yeah. And Brian. Damn. And, uh, get rid of my first contest on this. And That's crazy. Back in, like, 92. That's crazy shit, man. Hell yeah, it is. The motherfucker was ripped up and rusty back then. Still yeah. Damn. Where it's like a dream, and nothing like the Natalist, man. We got the Natalus pulled down here. This came from the original too. We used to have a big ass, long ass barn, like six foot bar. We used to do yeah. pull downs on it and everything too, and all that. And this is like the number one piece right here, man. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, the Natalus stuff was the best thing ever. Yeah, yeah, it was. I mean, I've yeah. seen see so much of it. It's 56 yeah. years old. It'll be like roaches. When the world comes to end, you'll see Natalus still on the corner somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> So if everybody, everybody comes in, trains hard. You got football players that come here getting ready for any kind of sport and all that. So we made it to where you could do basically chest, then you go to shoulders, arms, and you basically run through this whole thing. Then you hit another uh, section over here in the back. More for your back stuff here. Got rowers, all that here. Got the single leg one. You actually inspiration of getting this. Remember when uh, you hurt your leg? Yeah. This is the one uh, Brian said, yeah, he's the one who got to get his leg back in order and all that. And I go, shit, we got to get that. Yeah, we had one almost identical to it there. Yeah. yeah. The other touch flights. And whenever I tore my quad off the bone back in uh, yeah. 2011, get ready to look here. So when I started we have it. And Brian had me do this fucking thing every day. Every <laughs> day I did a Brazilian oh, yeah. on this for like, even for six months getting ready for the Arnold. Yeah. And then afterwards, I still kept doing it. And, uh, you know, help, you know, get that, that injury oh, yeah. back up. and. Uh, it makes, you know, this is independent. So yeah. When you're pushing, each leg's got to pull its own weight. Yeah. Uh, then I would do the isolation exercises just to get your leg, and uh, this machine was uh, a pretty crazy. part of making a comeback. Oh, it did, man. I was like, how did he get his legs fast so, so quick so fast? You know, it tore out the bone and all that. Everybody canceled him out and said, he's, he's, it's over for him. Hell no, he came back, looked better than ever, and still whooped everybody. So that's good, man. I was like, shit, we got to get one too. And it's all made, so it's too busy down there. You got no excuse to come and train hard up here and all that, and don't worry about the floors. I mean, these floors are like four foot thick, you know, it's made for bombs and all that shit, so it's cool. Then this way over here, four feet thick, these beams go all the way down about another 20. Hey, they, don't, they don't build <laughs> shit like that anymore. No, hell no. What's that, bro? You can't damage this building around like shit, that's perfect for us. Yeah. No, hell no. Yeah, too much. <laughs> hey, you can't blow it up. They're not here? Yeah. Ah. So, here's most of our cell. We got some Natalie's pieces here, too. Ooh. Hey, so, this is my boy here. Edmund, he would actually find news. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. He's got the Natalie's chest. You know he got it that pullover. No matter what. <laughs> I split my finger. Hey, I split my finger. Brace was in there. Oh, on that side? Oh, shit. I was oh, shit. next to him. And uh, he, he was getting, he was getting, he was finished. Yeah. And uh, getting ready to stop, so I went to go grab the handle. There, oh fuck! Right near the chain. Yeah. And uh, he let he put his feet on there and then let it go. And uh, my dumbass instead of just waiting, I wanted to help <laughs> and put my finger there, and my finger got caught, and it just cut it all lit. It. Holy shit! I just Damn. watched my finger go split. Hell Imagine, yeah! Uh, his finger basically cut off. It's just a little bit of skin. Yeah. It on. And I'm like, blood going everywhere. And uh, I'm like, yo, man, I know we're good. And he's like, nah, that ain't good. Like, we're the super glue at. Yeah, well, we ain't doing it, do it the workout, man. We're training for, I think it was a Olympia. Some shit, yeah. but Damn. I called the uh, ambulance. I threw some tape on it, but he was like, no, you oh, need yeah. to get it checked out. So yeah. I got in the ambulance, they cleaned it up, <laughs> checked it out, taped it up. Then I got off, said, okay, man, let's go. It's fucking so badass, man. I just held it up in the air like this while like, it was boom. bleeding yeah. so it wouldn't bleed out. That's yeah, awesome, man. Finger chopped off. We should have turned it back. <laughs> and then he's like, yeah, man, I probably should go get it stitched yeah, back on. I'm like, yeah. yeah, you might need that. But here we enter the, it's called the bullpen. That's where we do our strongman, powerlifting, Olympic weightlifting, all that stuff here. This is some of our implements here. We have a built-in uh, actual stage for posing and all that. So uh, he had our logo on the, the actual deal. 
Well, at first we just had it boarded up, you know, old school hardcore style, and he owns a foreign company. He's like, you know what, Randy? I'm gonna make this shit look cool as shit, and then came in and put the mirrors up, all this too, man. And this is where we practice all our open posing, and first timers are afraid to pose in front of everybody. We work on routine, just plug in a, your uh, radio there, go to your posing routine and all that. Yeah, you can't uh, pose in front of the gym economy confident. Oh, yeah. You, can't, you ain't gonna be able to pose in front of the exactly. two, three, four thousand people. It's kind of like a multi-gym here, so a lot of powerlifters like, you know, do main lifts and do accessories, but they need everything closer. So we got this piece to where you do shoulders, chest, leg extensions, leg extensions, leg curls, pull downs and all that, and a low row too. There's more like Olympic weightlifting here. Got a lot of Olympic weightlifter guys. It's got the jerk boxes, platforms, uh, competition plates. And here's our uh, MMA school right here. So we do all that mixed martial arts and also too. Yeah, you got all guys from the UFC, Bellator, up-and-comers, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu guys, Muay Thai kickboxers come in and train all the time. Yes, yeah, so I got a team for that too, so that's been going strong. Some of our strongman stuff here. Like, woo! Most of are from this point on, it's all powerlifting. So we got that, got the pitch chart, reverse hyper, reverse hyper that goes out directions. You got your steel rower there. And this is where we're uh, basically host our powerlifting meets here. We got one coming up March 26th. But I got all the combo racks here. Three sets of uh, kilo plates. And some of our uh, powerlifting awards and all that stuff that they won. All their goals and all that. So if you're doing for a powerlifting meet or whatever, you want to come train, I got five uh, specific coaches for uh, powerlifting and all that. And we'll get you ready, man. It'll be awesome. Be cool. Ah. There's one of our uh, powerlifting coaches, Caitlin, Branch Warren, Donnie Jackson. Woo. The area here. This is where we keep all our goodies, the private equipment room. So here we got all the specialty bars. Everybody tears them up, fucks them up, right? Yeah. So they got a, if you got a personal bar you want to keep here or whatever, yeah. we always store them right here. It's pretty cool. You got to keep them locked up. You know what I mean? These bars cost a lot of money, so, and very important to each lifter uh, for whatever specific lift they're doing. So, this is gold right now. So we got a Kramer bar there. So yeah, we got this right here, help you hit, build some hip power. This is like a front squatter. Mm -hmm. You put it on top, you put the bar on top there. Low roll too. Yeah, we, we have no Oh, oh, yeah. I know. Right. I think I got those bruises right here. <laughs> so we connected all the all the racks together. That way you could do all kinds of movements at the same time. So if you need to do like a bench squat deadlift, you could actually do bench squat and deadlift all at the same time. To make it go more more easy. Right. We're kind of like run like a mock meet type deal. So everybody gets ready. We'll see where you're at, and then we could build you up from there. That'd be cool. Oh yeah. Over here's more like CrossFit area. Got more racks and everything. And this right here is pretty much a 100 foot uh, plow box. Yep. So you go 44, 35. You got all kinds of athletes doing jump ups, go speed and power and all that stuff here. Really good idea is having the plyo boxes built in like this. It's really smart. So, I mean, it's so much safer, you know, and you graduate in height, of course but uh, it's just stabilized. And you see people jumping up on things all the time. And you're like, if that moves, you're screwed. Here's for training. This is the Conan's wheel. This is, uh, we got a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu guys practicing out here. Then it's a good day. So we always come and train outside. So we got uh, the benches and all that, some platforms, some weights out here and all that. So good, good training when it's a good day. We well, yeah, got everything you need here, man. Uh, basically, six gyms in one, man. If you want to come train for every sport, we got the coaches for it, the teams for it, and just get it on, man. You know, this is like old school style, just like the original, man. Go all out, no dress codes, use all chalky one, bleed everywhere. That's what it's all about. That's how we grew up. <laughs> you know, man, I've been doing this for over 30 years, been all over the planet, literally, and uh, the best athletes, bodybuilders, powerlifters, whatever, come out of places like this. So uh, see the time and time again. Oh yeah. No matter where it's at in the world, because it ain't about the fancy equipment and all the glitz and glam and all that bullshit. It's about what comes in here. That's what's right. Up here. And, uh, oh yeah. 
And even if you don't have it in here, places like this help you create the mentality because there's so many people that are heart driven. You can't help but to get, you know what I mean? Yeah. Get that, you know, yeah. take in some of that ambiance on oh, them, yeah. you know, inside you. So absolutely, like Brand said, this is where champions are built. Places yeah. like this, because it's got old school written all over it. And, oh, yeah. you know, old school is the nucleus behind everything that it branched out to be, you know, right now. Uh, so if you can get a piece of it, you oh, hold yeah. on to it exactly. and share it, because uh, it's gold. Maybe yeah, you know, 25 fitness or Planet Fitnesses or here in the mother of fitness places that are good for places like this. Yep. This is why I started it. That's where it's still at. Exactly. Oh, yeah, man. When, uh, working at the original one and everything, too, I was, was inspired by you know, like guys like you coming in, training hard. You had the powerlifters, you had the old school guys. We always had that raw mentality like hard work is king. You know, no matter what you do, where you come from, if you want to have the hard desire to do something, it was ingrained in your mind at that gym that you could do whatever you could and you could achieve whatever you wanted to, no matter what there. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna provide a, a good spot and everything. See, I always had it in my mind, but I had to meet my queen to make it happen though. Yeah, I always had that one central connection to be like, everything makes sense, you know? So I was like, hell yeah, I'm gonna do it like that. And then uh, Brian started licensing the gyms and all that and the opportunity came arise and we started putting our deals together and said, hey, you know, provide a good spot for the community in Fort Worth. You know, get these kids out the streets, provide them some, some, you know, some good boxing stuff, MMA stuff, introduce the bodybuilding, bring strong men and to this area, and just kind of wake this whole area up because it was considered back then a high risk area, high crime area, and also too. So we decided to, to do it, put all our, put all our cards in one table, man, and see what happened. And 13 years later, 